Hi all. In this video, let us try to create a virtual machine using Microsoft's Azure platform. In the last video of the series, we have created a free tier account or a free account is what Microsoft calls it. So the best part of that account is we will get a $200 worth of credit so that we can explore various different products of Microsoft Azure. So today let us get started with this journey of creating a virtual machine. So while you are practicing or while you are uh, experimenting, while you are doing proof of concepts, there might be various different cases where you might want to create one virtual machine. And that is where this platform helps you in creating that for absolutely free of cost. So let us get started. And now I have logged in into the website by using a URL which is portal.azure.com. Now I'll be entering my credentials. For my application, I have configured an extra set of authentication which we call as a multi-factor authentication. So the code will be sent to my mobile and I'll be entering that code. Okay, now what we see is a landing page of Microsoft Azure. This page is a single page application. It is quite impressive how Microsoft has pulled it off. Now, from this page, we can create all the different services. There are many places where you can basically create Azure services. So let us look at the simple place at this moment. So if you click over here, you will be seeing some favorites which Microsoft selects you for default. And today, as we have discussed earlier, we are trying to create a virtual machine. And virtual machine is present over here itself. So let me click on this virtual machine. And I would say that I want to add a new virtual machine. Now, in this page, basically we will be entering whatever details that are required for the virtual machine which we are trying to create. For example, I will be creating an Ubuntu 18.04 machine and I will log in inside that machine and then I will be installing an Apache server. So, the first thing which Microsoft asks for is a resource group. So, in Microsoft, whenever you are creating any resources, they have to be part of some group. So, let us get started by creating a resource group. I have created a resource group called as learning demo. Now I will scroll down a bit and then I will be giving a virtual machine's name. Let me call it as learning demo VM. Now there are various different places where you can select the virtual machines. Right? Microsoft has various different regions across the globe and for this video I will be using a central US location. Now if you see in the images list there are many images and Ubuntu 18.04 is already selected. right? So this is most widely used images but if you want to look at various different images which Microsoft offers just click on this browse all public and private images. But for now I will be selecting Ubuntu 18.04. So I will scroll down. It's absolutely okay for you to go with this size which is being shown over here because we have $200 of credit. But by the time you are watching this video, if you have burnt up or if you have finished your one month of time, then we need to create a free tier eligible instance. So for that purpose, I'll be selecting a machine which is eligible for free even after the first month is finished. So the machine which I'm trying to create will be free of cost for 750 hours a month for the first 12 months after your Azure account creation. So let me select the chain size and that machine size is B1S. Okay. And over here you will, can see that there are various different machines which are available and we have filters. right? So we will get into this in some other video or in later videos in this series. But for this video I will be selecting B1S. Now, in Azure, you have two different ways of basically configuring a Linux account. The first way is try to use username and password or the second way is try to create an SSH based key based authentication. Right. So whatever way that you want to, you can basically use it. And in this video, I'll be using a password based authentication because it is very simple to use. I'll select password.
I'll be giving my username. Now, if you scroll down a bit, you will be seeing inbound portals. So, in this video, as I said earlier, we'll be creating a Linux machine, and inside that Linux machine, we'll be creating an Apache server. So, Apache server requires port 80 to be open, and uh, SSH requires port 22 to be open. So, let us ensure that we open both the ports. And Microsoft already ensures that 22 port is open by giving that as an option to you. If you don't want to open any ports, you can select the none option over there. But for this video, since we don't want to log in into Azure from your home internet or from your laptop, which is outside of Azure's network, we have to open it up to the internet. Now I'm selecting HTTP as well. Now you can go to the next and configure the disk and various other informations of your virtual machine. But for this video, we don't require that. We would uh, stick to defaults. And I am clicking on review and create. Microsoft tries to validate the details which you have provided. And uh, if they are suitable enough and if they are valid details, then the validation will be passed. Otherwise, Microsoft will prompt the error which you have done which can be corrected. So right now my details are correct and it is also showing me what is the hourly bill. So this hourly bill has no impact on your pre-tier account because this would be free under our $200 which we get once we get an Azure account or even if you are in the first 12 months of your usage you can use this machine for 750 hours in a month and Microsoft will not charge a penny for this. Now let me click on create. The moment I click on create, Microsoft starts doing that work in the background. Now if you can observe on the screen, you are seeing the notifications over here and you will be navigated to the page where the deployment is happening. The progress of this deployment will be shown on this page. Let us wait till we see that the resource is created. Now on the screen, I think you can see some progress. So let us wait for some more time till we see that the resource creation is complete. Okay, now you can look at the confirmation message saying that the resource creation is complete. Now you can navigate to the resource by clicking on go to resource. So we have our VM up and running. Now let us try to, to log in into a Linux VM we would require an SSH terminal. In this video, I'll be using a git bash. That is a terminal which you would receive on your Windows server when you install git for Windows. So let us try to log in into a Linux machine. Now just go and click on the connect machine and then select an SSH option which is automatically selected in this moment. Copy the command which you are seeing over here. Now open git bash. If you are working on the latest versions of Windows, you can execute the same command on Windows PowerShell as well. But for this video, I'll be using a git bash. So I'll paste the command, whatever I've copied, and then I'll click on enter. So it is asking me a confirmation. I, I would say yes. Now I'll enter the password, whatever I've entered during machine creation. Now I have logged in into this machine. Now let us get started by executing our Linux commands. So the whole intention over here is to just install an Apache server, which is pretty much simple. And it happens just by the execution of a couple of commands. So let us do that. First time updating the Ubuntu packages. The update is finished. Now let us go ahead and install Apache. Now 
the commands will be appearing on the screen you can use that commands and they will also be present on the description below okay we have finished installing the apache server so let us verify whether the apache server is accessible to us or not now open azure portal select the public ip address go to your browser and copy paste your public ip address now you are seeing a ubuntu page over here that's it now we were able to log in into a linux machine and we were able to run the commands and this is a linux machine which is running in central us so you can use this machine for whatever purposes which you have and once you have finished your work right navigate to the home page get into the resource groups select the resource group and then just click on this delete resource group so deleting this resource group is always a good idea once you finish your work so that we are not basically paying or burning out our free time that's what i had so let me proceed by deleting the resource group i'll type my resource group's name that's it we have successfully created and deleted the virtual machine as well that's what i had for this video so we'll be adding some more interesting videos which would help you in doing exploration over azure thanks thanks for your time